She wasn't built to be charming. She wasn't configured to fit inside a neighborhood like her predecessor, Crosley Field. Riverfront Stadium was designed to function. A multi-purpose machine, her concrete and steel body bolted down along the Ohio River, sharing the banks with warehouses, factories, skyscrapers. She had a job to do, and she did it well. But machines don't last forever, and eventually we deem them out of date and find something shiny and new to serve our ever-changing purposes and landscapes. After 32 years, after 2,576 games, and after 64,650,533 fans walked through her turnstiles, the time had come to say goodbye. Baseball. Been in my life for 58 years now. But these past 30 years right here have been the greatest of my career. And when this place is knocked down December the 29th, those memories will not leave this area. They'll always be here. And for those of us that were lucky enough to have our breath taken away by her majestic size, our eyes widened when we first saw her expansive green field as we made our way to find our plastic seats of blue, green, yellow, or red. We are forever grateful that she let us be a part of her lifespan. We may not remember the final scores or whether the Reds won or lost, but we remember the scoreboard's glow. We can smell the damp concrete and sports service treats. We can feel the rumble in our chest as we clapped our hands and stomped our feet. She is forever with us and we will always have that stadium along the Ohio Riverfront.
The programs normally scheduled at this time will not be seen in order that we may bring you the following Reds baseball game. Cincinnati Reds baseball tonight from Cincinnati's Riverfront Stadium. The game between the Cincinnati Reds and the Atlanta Braves. And now from Riverfront Stadium in Cincinnati, here's Ed Kennedy and Pee Wee Reese. Good evening, everyone. Well, this is the night we've been looking forward to for so long to share with you. And we think that you feel the same way about being a part of this opening night here for the grand and brand new Riverfront Stadium here in Cincinnati. Pee Wee, I've got a little matter of civic pride involved, and I think you've come to feel a part of that, too, as you come up the river to come into our stadium. I know that you've been looking forward to it just as much as I have. Well, I certainly have, Ed, and I just want to feel like that Cincinnati's part of Kentucky anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to claim that river right now. Aren't Why, you? certainly. But it has been an exciting night. I got here early, and things are not quite finished yet, but I think it's a beautiful stadium, and everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. It's a little bit warm, but who cares? Well, I'm just glad it's a kind of a night that people can come and take off their coats, roll up their sleeves, and enjoy it. Folks, the seating capacity is a neighborhood of 51,000 here. There are four tiers. The top level will have red seats, and the tickets will be color keyed. There's a plaza level a Lowe's level, and a field box level. Just a little bit about the Cincinnati Reds. They moved into their new home, Riverfront Stadium, and I might say this, that the people here in the Midwest are very proud of their new park. They turned out in record-setting numbers this year. Over a million and 800,000 watched the Reds play at home this year. Let's take a brief look at the new Riverfront Stadium. These are the third base field boxes that rotate are built on a railroad track and rotate and uh, come around parallel to the right field stands when the field of the stadium is converted to football. The foul poles are really screens about three feet wide and any ball hitting the screen of course is a fair ball. They run from the roof of the stadium all the way down to the top of the fence, a wooden board fence that is removable. It's 12 feet high. It's 330 feet down each foul line. It's 404 straight away to center field and uh, uh, 375 in the power alleys. Now, you can see that the stadium is not complete. This is the stadium level on the plaza level all the way around and through the outfield where you can sit up there and dine and watch the game. Today, World Series history, an all-synthetic field, except for the mound and home plate areas. The mound itself is built on a circular plate is removable for football, and around the bases are sliding areas. Those sliding areas are about, oh, 20 by 20 on each side. And that's just about the dirt that there is on the field.
thing. They can tear it down, but they won't ever take it away from me.